from a whisper color Hi everybody, welcome back to another video I haven't been able to do much video in the past few weeks because I was quite busy but finally here we are and today I'm exploring a new area I've never been here before but for what I see it looks pretty pretty nice uh, but I'll have to explore it um, <clears throat> And in this this week it was raining all the time every single day um, and I was a bit bored being every day at home inside the, the office but today I finally was able to get out and I thought okay uh, it's raining usually I don't photograph when it's raining because mainly because of the gear I don't want to to ruin my gear but I said screw it I'll take uh, good care of it I'll be careful with the, the rain but I have to go out and I have to shoot uh, so I decided to come here explore this place and what I want to do is photograph amphibians. I have uh, a shot in my head I want to try. I don't know if, if it's gonna be possible because it requires a lot of stuff. I'll explain it later. Uh, but I'll be also photographing everything else I find. As you know, I, I, have, I always have a main objective, but then I'll be photographing other stuff that I may find in my way to the main shot. Voices fill the rooms upstairs. Our fort was warm before we drove. I'm recording this video with a new camera and the idea of this video was also to try out this camera and see how it works uh, in low light situations although it's morning it's quite dark uh, because it's cloudy and I'm under the trees so this is the perfect situation to try out this camera and see how it does in low light conditions and with this camera I'll be also able to go through my images while I'm taking them at least in, for, in landscape photography it will be possible. Uh, with animals it will be a bit more complicated because uh, when I'm photographing animals I need to be fast and I don't have a lot of time to think in what I'm gonna say and I, I need to be concentrated on the animal. I just found a really nice composition. As you can see that tree there is very beautiful with the yellow colors of the autumn. That's why I love photograph during autumn because of this contrast between some trees and the rest of the vegetation. Yellow against green. It usually works very well. I think this scene would look better uh, with foggy conditions but uh, maybe I'll be back here in another day but it, I think it's quite nice this way uh, anyway so uh, let's see if it works and now it's starting to rain uh, as you can see I have here a quite fancy rain cover uh, actually it's just a normal plastic bag with a hole in the front but it works as well as a, uh, an expensive rain cover so don't spend a lot of money in this stuff this usually works fine. As you can see I opted for a vertical composition and I also zoomed in quite a lot in the tree to avoid any distractions. Uh, th some, there are some distractions uh, on the sides of the tree so I zoomed in quite a lot and I think it works quite well. Um, and uh, as you can see the tree stands out very well from the background because the tree is uh, more bright, is brighter and also more vibrant. Uh, the colors separate very well. Yellow against the dark greens in the background. Um, and I'm also using a small F number because to uh, make this separation even more obvious. Now let's just focus okay so let's take the photo and 
yeah, nice, great, great. Another reason why autumn is my favorite season is because of mushrooms and I know it might sound crazy but mushrooms can be a really beautiful subject to photograph and you can get really nice pictures with them. Alright, everything is ready to photograph the mushrooms. I'll be using this reflector to bright up some of the shadows um, mushrooms usually have and I prefer this over the flash because uh, it looks more natural. What I did here was uh, to place the mushroom in the left third of the image and I'm focusing on this big one uh, even though I'm using F9 it's still quite, the depth of field is quite shallow so all, only a small part of the mushroom is in focus but I think that's fine I won't be doing here focus stacking sometimes this shallow depth of field works well uh, and another th another thing that works well is this this part uh, this right part of the image the moss is out, out of focus and drives attention to the main subject so to the mushrooms so I'll try to show you here the difference with any without a reflector this is now is without a reflector and so and this is with a reflector without with, without, and with the reflector. Now that I'm done with the mushrooms, let's keep searching for amphibians, fingers crossed, and this is not the best time of the day to find amphibians because, because they are more active during the night but sometimes it's possible to find them under these conditions so I'll keep searching and maybe I'll be lucky enough to she find one walked out with the floral blouse Back then Everyone was near I didn't find any amphibian yet, but I decided to go through the image I want to take. I've been thinking about this image for a while now, now um, and I decided it was the time to try to do it. Um, but I need rain and now the rain has stopped. Uh, sometimes rains but just a little bit and it's not enough for what I want and basically what I want to do is to use this on my flash uh, I don't know the name of this stuff but this uh, directs the light to a specific point of the image and I want uh, to illuminate, illuminate the eye of the animal uh, and then I want some rain uh, in the image uh, I don't want to do this image during the night because I, I want some uh, natural light in the background uh, but the flash will help me to draw the attention to the main subject, to the amphibian uh, and I also want to be a bit close to the amphibian this image will be so complicated because I'll have to manage a lot of things I'll have to manage uh, to keep my uh, gear dry while I'm shooting. I have to be focused on photographing the animal. I have to direct the light to the place I want. So there are, that's a lot of things I have to do at the same time. I don't think this image will happen today. This image that I've been dreaming about for a long time, I don't think it's gonna happen today, but I want at least photograph one animal. I've seen a pond back there and I have to search better there for amphibians because I think there are some there, at least some frogs. Okay, I think today I'll photograph everything but amphibians. 
Look at this. I hope you can see it. So here I'm using uh, all these chaos. I usually like to photograph stuff very simple with a few distractions but in this case the colors of the ferns um, and all this chaos works very well and it it's like an abstract image and it's working very well and because I'm um, a bit close to to these ferns I'm using f8 is giving me enough depth of field to have the ferns in focus but the background a bit out of focus and because there's uh, almost no wind I'm using a slower shutter speed to keep my ISO in the minimum As you may know, amphibians are a group particularly susceptible to human activity. So when we are dealing with them, we should be very careful to not disturb them too much. Uh, as I said, for this picture, this image, I'm thinking I'll be using a flash. Uh, but I, I don't think that's a problem for, for amphibians, especially in this occasion, because I'll be using a really low power and it won't be any stronger any comparable with the sun so that won't be a, a big problem if you would like to learn more why amphibians are one of the most endangered animal groups in the on the planet i'll leave a link uh, in the description with one of my latest blog posts Walking around with one eye Eyes focusing on me So I found a frog It's a green frog, it's right here in front of my lens It's a very small one I would prefer to be at a high level But in this case it's not possible because it's really close to, to this part with mud um, But I think it's not bad at, at all uh, actually, actually, I I like how it's looking. Sorry, it's not easy to talk while I'm taking photos of the the frog. It's difficult to focus in this these without the tripod because this lens doesn't have vibration reduction. So it's, I'm sh shaking a lot. This is not the best position to focus. Not easy at all. But I finally was able to find an amphibian and I think it's working fairly well. Yes, I finally got a photo of an amphibian. Look at this. I mean, I kind of like it. It's a different perspective and I think it works uh, quite well. Yes, great. I've seen from here a tree, uh, it's turning, the colors are turning and I think I'll try to photograph uh, this tree. I mean, there are so much different trees here, beautiful trees that could be photographed but yeah, as I said, I have to come back here uh, with fog because I think it will be great for autumn photography. So yeah. I'm happy now, I have a photo of an amphibian I have my gear ready for the last shot of the day As you can see here That tripod is not in the best posi position But... Oh, wait, the light is just eating that tree uh, Alright Nice Okay, sorry uh, So I was saying the tripod is not in the best um, position it's a bit um, 
shaky and unstable and dangerous but I have to be careful so what I did here was uh, place the tree in the middle and including some of the the water and this way I can give a sort of uh, 3d effect to my image uh, and it looks more interesting than just a tree Although this image is nice, I think in a misty day I would have got a much better image. This tree is a black locust tree, native to the United States, but it was introduced in Portugal. And although it is beautiful, they can be quite harmful to native ecosystems, because they spread really fast, they grow very fast, and they don't have any natural predator to control their growth. I hope you have enjoyed the video, what an incredible morning here, I think I got really nice photos today, uh, it was amazing, uh, this place is beautiful, I have to come back here uh, more times in the future, I'll be coming back for, for sure. Uh, if you liked the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next episodes. Yeah.